Hi, this is Matthew with F Class Community Channel. Um, I'm just in the middle of uh, doing some uh, a little bit of reloading. What I'm doing right now is I'm tipping my uh, bullets uh, to create a more uniform knee pad uh, to I don't know, uh, just to eliminate variables. Um, what I found is uh, there is a little bit less uh, vertical. Um, uh, the um, b ballistic coefficient of the bullets are a little bit more consistent. Um, sometimes the the mouth of the knee pad uh, uh, varies quite a bit uh, from bullet to bullet. So um, in my reloading and my experience, uh, I found that it helps with uh, my groups a, l a little bit more. Uh, it, and it's noticeable um, at greater distances and not necessarily mid-range around 600 meters, uh, but at 1,000 yards or 900 meters, uh, it is quite noticeable. Uh, one thing that <laughs> is advantage that I just noticed right now, um, I was pointing a few bullets and, and uh, uh, these uh, 180 grain uh, VLDs, and uh, as I was feeding them, uh, what I noticed uh, and, and pointing it is I notice some of them didn't point, and I say, "Oh, that's that's odd. Didn't didn't seat up into the uh, bullet pointing die." And what happened is I I took one and and weighed it, and it was a 168 grain um, uh, different uh, um, a 168 grain VLD bullet, uh, and not a 185 grain, which is what I usually shoot. So uh, that's <laughs> maybe one advantage of uh, pointing is you go through a, a little bit of a, a bullet sorting uh, process. So you end up going through all your bullets, pointing all your bullets to make them all consistent, but then you get to weed out some of the bullets that may not conform to what you have in your box. So um, it's a significant difference. Uh, it's almost, uh, you know, a, uh, a quarter of an inch shorter, so that's one one advantage of having uh, I, I guess going through a pointing pointing uh, system as um, like the wooden gun work is because you get to sort your bullets out as well. So just a heads up, um, th this is what I do. It's not necessary. Uh, so some people take the extra step, but if you're in the long range, into the long range and, and shooting a thousand to nine hundred meters. Uh, many, many uh, shooters that I've talked to uh, and very experienced wind readers and, and, and wind shooters uh, have tested the pointed bullets and unpointed bullets and they've noticed uh, 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 at least a one MOA difference or one and a half MOA difference at a thousand yards. Um, I, I myself, I, I'm not good enough to test, <laughs> uh, I don't have those distances to test that. But uh, I, I am going by their words in terms of um, their experience with pointing 155 grain bullets uh, and shooting out to a thousand yards. Uh, some TR shooters and and I very respected TR shooters uh, that that I know. So there there you have it. Uh, just a, a a small insight into what I do. It's a very simple system. You put a little bit of uh, Imperial dye wax on the tip and you run it up uh, uh, as you would a shell and uh, it points the bullet with the smaller me pad and I'll, uh, and I'll post a photo at the end of this video to show the differences between unpointed and pointed uh, me pad on the uh, bullets uh, using the wooden gun works. I know some people trim and stuff but uh, when you trim a me pad you also lose BC uh, because you lose uh, copper material and but you also have to repoint it as well but uh, overall I, I, I find that just pointing it for myself, for my purposes, for F class, uh, it it just does it, it just does the job. So uh, I'm not plugging the die system or anything. I'm just showing you a little bit of what I do as uh, I uh, go through uh, my reloading process in uh, getting uh, more consistent ammunition uh, in uh, competition. So Matthew with F class Community Channel. Uh, once again, remember to keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.